Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A journalist who led the Panama Papers offshore tax evasion expose was killed today when a bomb blew up her car. Now, investigative reporter Daphne Car Caruana Galizia, I hope I pronounced that correctly, dubbed a one-woman WikiLeaks was killed as she was driving near the village of Bidnija in northern Malta. She had filed a complaint to police a fortnight ago after receiving personal threats to her safety. Now, Caruana Galizia ran a hugely popular blog relentlessly highlighting cases of alleged corruption often involving politicians from the Mediterranean island. Now, in Malta, she had led the coverage of the Panama Papers, a leak of millions of legal documents last year detailing financial details of offshore entities used by the rich and powerful to avoid tax. Now, Maltese Prime Minister Joseph Muscat, who uh, faced accusations of wrongdoing by Caruana Galizia, excuse me, folks, if I'm having a hard time with that, I don't know why I am, earlier this year, denounced her killing. He called it a barbaric attack on press freedom. Well, sometimes I guess uh, you have to be careful about who you report on, who you investigate. But then again, would I be concerned? Would I be stopped from investigating somebody if I thought I had a, a link or a, a, a scoop that I could prove that they had uh, committed some sort of malfeasance? No, I would go forth and do it as well, and I wouldn't worry about uh, my vehicle winding up looking like this one right here. This is this is terrible. It's unfortunate. But obviously, folks, it was some matter of, of retribution for her uh, exposing these politicians. And I believe some Americans were involved in this too, uh, in this uh, offshore tax evasion expose. And I, I know she had done ex extensive work on this. And this is, this is tragic, this is criminal, and this is pure evil. But anyway, folks, I will leave you a link to this. And when it comes to links, please check out the link to my new fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. It's available in Kindle for $1.99, Kindle Unlimited for absolutely free if you have that program, and paperback for $7.99. Now, folks, this is a fiction book that the deep state does not want you to read, and I'm sincere when I say that. Um, government for public and media consumption, what would that be? Those superimposed images back there, uh, absolutely pertaining to America. What does all that mean? Well, there's a link to this in the description area below this video. Uh, you can check this book out. If you are a watcher of world events, if you are tracking the machinations of the deep state, if you are a fan of the alternative media, if you are hip to what is going on in the world right now, this is a fiction book that would appeal to you. And you can read chapter one for free. Chapter one is called Fake News, and that is linked in the description area as well. Uh, there's also a link to some music down there of mine that you could check out. Um, now, folks, I would ask you, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led. But most of all, folks, let me leave you with this. These are increasingly treacherous times within the maelstrom that we live. But do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind, that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.